Hi everyone, welcome by another episode of the Drunken Barbecue. As you can tell, we got the barbecue going, so let's get cracking for another exciting episode. So, today's dinner, hobo dinner. Now you think, what is a hobo dinner? Well, a hobo dinner is basically whatever you fancy to eat or whatever you have. Throw it in a package and put it on the fire. For you guys who are in the military, uh, scouting or outdoor enthusiasts you probably know what an hobo dinner is. For your newbies, just keep watching and follow the recipe. Before we start cooking, let's first talk about what is a hobo. A hobo is a person that travels from city to city uh, for some light work or other kind of activities just to enjoy work. He travels the trails and he follows the freedom. So what will be uh, putting into a hobo dinner? Well it's fairly simple. It's not too bad at all. Uh, you got your vegetables. I have them here. That's a good hobo. I travel light. Small barbecue. I've got my bag with veggies. Trust a knife. Never leave without a knife. Cutting board. Some olive oil. And some spices. For the foil, use thick foil. The thicker the better, or at least use a few layers. I'm going to use a few layers today, because don't forget, you're going to put it straight on, you're going to put your packet straight on top of the fire, so you don't want it to burn. If you wonder which side up, doesn't really matter. Gonna put it all eventually into the into the flames anyway. So get the knife out and let's get up part of the potato I have here. The roll potato. Potatoes are good. Make sure your knife is nice and sharp. A dull knife is a dangerous knife. I make thinner slices because that cooks faster. And spread it out onto the funnel. I take an onion. Nope, oh, carrot's coming out. Do the same with the carrot. Enthusiastic. And there are no measurements for this, right? So you can use whatever you want. If you're hungry, make a bigger one. If you're not hungry, make a smaller one. If you're vegetarian, just use vegetables. Eater, put everything in there. You can use herbs, spices, or whatever else you want to put in there. But above all, don't forget to take away your garbage. Garbage attracts animals. Don't hear bring animals anyway. Cats. Cats have a big problem. Minions in it. for now. But if you want, like me, add some protein. Give it a 
nails. Good and all up. Okay. And for the good old flavor. Garlic. Got the ashes of it. Like they say, some garlic a day, keep the doctor away. It's open and you can just take the, take the outer layer off. And we'll sprinkle that in there too. Don't you worry, we're going to mix it all up in a bit anyway. And through the cooking, all the, the flavors will, will spread themselves out. I'm going to put a bit of olive oil. Put whatever you want in there. I just got some Italian spices here. Give it a bit of a Mediterranean look, flavor to it. Not too much. Pretty strong as it is. Some pepper. It's a true hobo. We see it outside. Use an awesome pepper wheel. And we want to put a little bit of paprika powder in there. This happened to be smoked. You can, you can use whatever you want. Nothing is a must in this case. This meal is as flexible as anything. Mix it all up with good old hands. Short water on everything. Nothing beats cooking on the ground. Doesn't want to cook on the ground. Of course I don't have a rack. Don't let anybody see you doing that. Yeah, we're living the outdoor lifestyle. We don't really care. Well, yeah. everything is wrapped up. We're ready to be wrapped up. We're going to make a nice package out of this one. And then we need to wait for the barbecue. Nice. Make sure you fold it properly. Make it nice and tight. All the juices are staying in there. So when you cook it, it doesn't dry out. As mentioned, use two layers. Then you use two layers of foil. This is a chance to penetrate it. Once you penetrate the package, all your juices will be leaking out of it. And that's a way to play it. Wait till the coats are really warm, and then we go. In a few minutes, but the so, time. There we are. Uh, Back again, snake. folks. 
through the wonders of time travel. Fire is going. Coals are getting a light pretty good. All of a sudden we have a second paddle. Because there's another hobo around. So let him enjoy the, the joy and we can include him in the meal. There is room, we have food, so let's wrap it up and let's get cooking. So for the coming half an hour, that is 15 minutes on either side of the package. We got nothing more to do than operate our only tool. You have to be careful with this because as soon as you puncture the package the juices will run out and your food is ruined and as a good hobo, hobos never travel around without a beer. So let's be like them, we cook outside, we sit in nature, it's a bit chilly with all the snow around but hey we got a fire so that will keep us warm and we're having a beer. So. Let me uh, do what I can do best, supervise the cook for the coming 15 minutes. I'm gonna sip a beer and after that I'll come back to you. We're gonna turn it around and we'll just see how it's going. It's a surprise for you, it will be a surprise for me. Because at the end of the day, you can't just lift the lid to see what you're doing. Let's close your eyes and hope for the best. Cheers. All right, folks, back again. Miracle of time has done his job again. Um, we are now 15 minutes later. Um, as you remember, there were two things I, we had to do after 15 minutes. First thing, turn around the packages. Because you want to have them cooked on both sides. Just watch yourself. They can be hot. Voila. So we're going to let this go for another 15 minutes. And uh, I have to say, that smells really good. You can hear the package is sizzling. You can smell it. I basically heat it already in my mind. Um, you might not be able to hear that. Maybe you do. You can hear the sizzling of the, the food inside. And you can hear the wind blowing through the trees at the back for some reason. The wind is picking up in the last 15 minutes. Hopefully the weather is not going to get too bad, but hey, who then lives who then worries. Alright, that was the first thing. We have two things to do. So the second thing we have to do, take another beer. Don't forget, bring back your trash. Nobody's waiting for your own, for your stuff to be laying around. So here we go. I'm going to wait for the next cook. Alright folks, Tips. here we are through the miracle of time. We are 15 minutes later again. Well, this should be it. Nothing should be between us and that lovely package anymore. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a lot of sizzling going on and man, does it smell good. I basically can't wait anymore. So let's get it up the fire. Use the plate. Your tools, but don't forget, it's really hot. Oh, yeah, look at that! Isn't that marvelous? All I want to say is leave this now for a minute or two because don't forget, it's really hot. It just came off a fire, so come on, guys, don't be stupid and burn yourself. Alright, we waited a few minutes. I can't wait anymore. Man, it smells good. I don't know about you, but this stuff just makes me hungry. I'm just going to peel open the first layer. So I can use the outside. It's kind of a basket. I'm a guy, you know. Guy spill. I spill a lot. But who cares? The fuck of life. Alright. Two lovely packages. I forgot which one is which. I just take my knife and I'm gonna open them up. And then we're gonna reveal what it all look like. And if it's 
looks and tastes the way it smells. Man. Man, oh man. Ooh, that's the sausage one. There's the chicken. Don't you worry, you probably can't see it from there. But I will be zooming in. Yeah. Look at that. A chicken and a sausage one. If that isn't a feast. Look at that. That smells fantastic. Oh yeah. And it's all thoroughly cooked. So it's actually amazing. Just wrap, it, wrap your food up in a package and go with gold. It works and can't really wait. Ah, tastes fantastic. Well Vivian, I'll be eating good tonight. Don't worry, soon I will be in a town close to you. So guys, sorry. Sorry if I'm eating in front of you like this, but hey, call that a hobo privilege. This is a meal, very easy to make. It's perfect at a campsite. Take your kids, make this, then can prep it in the kitchen, all in the adult supervision, nice and safe. You can do it. Well, here you go, guys. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and uh, give this video a thumbs up and reply in the comments below. If, uh, if you like it, and if you don't like it, please let me know what you don't like, and it's always room for improvement, right? So, here you go, whole boat dinner. Uh, enjoy your meal, and happy grilling, guys. See you next time.